Hello, I'm Diargos. Welcome to this new series where I play The Turing Test. This is a game much like Portal that came out in August 2016. Uh, it's now March 2017, so it's been out for about five or six months. I have played the first few levels of this game. Um, I would say I think to chapter two, but I did have some audio recording problems in the third chapter and I just decided since there were some imbalances to go back and record the whole thing from start. So you will see me go through the first couple of levels pretty quickly because I just did them but um, once I get to the part that I haven't played yet I'll, I will let you know and then we can figure out the puzzles together because I have no idea what to expect after the first few the first couple of chapters and I really have no idea wh what happens at the end of the story and so now I'm invested in it because I I did play uh, for about an hour and I am excited to see what happens Morning, Eva. Your wake-up has been sanctioned by the ISA. We lost contact with the ground crew 450 hours ago. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting any responses. We need you to investigate. Okay, doesn't it make sense to do visual checks first? We have already looked at the data. The ISA has made the executive decision that you report to the surface post haste. You are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? The ground crew found an organism the ISA believed to be dangerous. We need to re-establish communication. Okay, so here we are in my hibernation room or stasis room. I'm not sure exactly what, what I was doing, but I was asleep for some long period of time. This is uh, a robot, but it's being controlled by Tom, which is the the AI that oversees the entire facility. Uh, I think the space station that I'm on now and the facility on the surface. So we are in orbit around well, that's, that's Jupiter in the background there, and then that white uh, moon there is Europa so I'm not sure if we're in orbit around Jupiter or Europa but we are pretty close to Europa as in a minute I will be um, taking a little pod down to the surface so I can interact with objects like this this mug here um, but there's there's nothing really um, to do with these objects that I've that I've found yet in the game um, I, eventually I will get a little energy manipulation tool that I can carry around. It's kind of like the, the portal gun, uh, except it doesn't create portals. Oh, and my name is Ava Turing. And I guess it's May 13th, 2250. And there are a few other crew members. There's Sarah Brooke. Mikhail Tukarev and see they both say 2443 and what I haven't figured out yet is did I wake up today being and is the day May 13th 2250 or is that my scheduled wake up and this is some other day um, because and I, the reason I say that is because I already know based on what Tom just said that that these people are already awake but they're not scheduled to wake up for another 200 years. So I really am confused by, by this point still, having already played an hour. So I guess we'll, we'll find out. There's Sochi. And I think this one is, oh, okay, user error. He's Canadian, apparently. 
and Chris McLean. I think he is the the captain of the mission or the commander of the mission. Okay, I'm just following these green arrows past all of the air conditioning units. Okay, here's a monitor that I can interact with that's a whole lot of hexadecimal. I'm going to the crew lobby. And again, here's another table with a bunch of objects and clicking on them doesn't really do anything. I can just pick it up and look at it. It's the ISA mug, International Space Agency. A laptop. What else? I think there's like a clipboard or something around here. Um, here's McLean's office. I think my office is somewhere. All right, well, we'll, we'll find out. Here's the armory. I think I have to go to the armory first and pick, pick up, up the your EMT. EMT. It's on the side. Okay. We are going to take a lander to Europa. Make your way to the docking station. The EMT, the Energy Manipulation Tool, by Ashiyama Industries. Okay, now the store is open. Okay, here's my office, Ava Turing. But uh, there's nothing in this office except for uh, this monitor here that has some emails. Um, let's see, the first one is to Ava from Tom. Tom is the technical operations machine, and he's the AI that's been speaking to me. Subject is ship status to Ava. The current ship status is as following. Recommend addressing the power fluctuations before cryostasis. Okay, so a bunch of numbers I don't know. Then... Ava, me, I sent Dan McLean uh, an email on cryostasis. Hey, Dan, I'm about to initiate my cryostasis. Just let Tom know if you guys need me. Hopefully, there will be no need to wake me. I guess I'll hear from you as soon as I wake up, which may be a long time for you guys. Best of luck down there, Ava. So, she was asleep and the rest of them were awake. I guess, um... I'm still confused though by the dates. Okay, so now Dan McLean responds. Ava, hopefully we won't need you, but we will miss you in the land of the living. I'll make sure Tom checks on you regularly. I know he does anyway, but I like to think I'm helping. Good night, Dan. And then Tom sends Ava. Captain McLean has sent several mails insisting I check the cryo chambers are functioning correctly. They are functioning as expected. Please do not feel any apprehension. Captain McLean has been informed. Okay, so he is the captain. Thank you, Tom. I'm not worried, Ava. And then to ground control at ISA, which is, I guess is back on Earth. I'm initiating my cryostasis in a short while. I imagine a lot will change while I'm asleep. If everything goes well, I should be woken up in the next 10 years. I've woken up next in 10 years. So to you all, I'd like to wish a good life. Okay, so I guess... The rest of the crew, or at least some of them, are on Europa, or went down to Europa, and were working while Ava was sleeping in cryostasis, but then something happened before the 10 years was up, and so now uh, I, I have to go down to the surface of Europa and investigate. They found an organism. Okay. More air conditioning. Here's the hatch. This little cutscene I I don't have control over. Okay, going down the hatch. And now the ladder retracts, so there's no way for me to go back, sadly. If I wanted to. What's the okay. ship's status? I have performed the necessary checks. The Europa lander is ready to launch. Here's the docking bay. We just follow these green arrows that are conveniently located right where we need them. Interesting room. I'm not sure what um, purpose this serves. Looks like a 
a uh, engine piston or something, but the spinning wheels or gears, whatever those are, I would imagine it's something to do with uh, electromagnets. Here's a window that shows nothing and is blocked anyway by, oh, what's that? Some kind of circular light or something. I'm not sure. Okay, moving on. Bay three. So you, <laughs> I'm being very well directed by Tom on where to go here. Um, I guess these ones were already used and well, that's Europa down there. Just looking around a little bit. I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, nope, I can't interact with that. Okay, I'll just go to my docking bay, bay three. It's a long way down. Retro? Go. Fido? Go. Guidance? Go. Control? Go. Telcom? Go. Then we are go for launch initiating. Zephyr. Engaging retro fire. Any control over this I'm part. running the program. 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. Trajectory looks good. 502 alarm. It looks like we're coming in too fast. We are slightly short of the landing site. We are going to have to burn late. Go. Full retrograde. fun. Open the door. Welcome to Europa. All right, I'm on the surface. Okay, take your time. Okay, now I'm on the surface. All right, so... There's the facility I need to go to. Um, if I go in this direction or this direction, it's blocked by invisible walls, so I'll just head inside. On this very long corridor. Very shiny corridor. Probably needs to get mopped regularly with all the snow being tracked in by the wide open How long door. will my suit survive these conditions? At 100 degrees Kelvin. Hmm. Okay. So this is like Portal as well where these little fields come down and Ensure that you don't carry anything through. The base through. has changed. What do you mean? The base was originally constructed as modules to withstand the seismic activity in and around Thera Macula. It appears the ground team have manipulated these modules. The base was built initially by machines. I served as the mind of these operations. I arrived first on Europa in 2240. It costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support, especially such a vast distance from Earth. So, robotics built this place. I wonder why the ground team has changed these rooms. I have a hypothesis. These rooms are Turing tests. Turing tests? Turing tests are tests designed to tell humans and machines apart. Typically, problems only solvable by a human. 
a combination of logical and lateral thinking. So you can't complete these tests, Tom? No. That is why I am glad you are here to help. We need to work together. They really have completely repurposed these rooms. I am quite impressed. So what were they used for before? Most of them were used for storage. But they have converted them beyond recognition. Perhaps they ran out of things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. Okay, I suppose they're finished talking to each other for a bit. Sorry about that. I would like to explain some of the basics of this game, but I didn't want to just sit there and listen to them for three minutes while they prattled on. Uh, so the way the basic puzzles uh, of each room, the way that they work, um, there are doors that have to be powered to be opened, and they get their power from these uh, energy balls which either can be grabbed out of these blocks here, the red ones, um, or there are some blocks that have the energy balls kind of locked into them, so you can't pull the energy out with your gun, but you can pick up the block and attach it to one of these slots. Uh, so there's the red blocks, and um, as long as you power the door, it'll stay open, but as soon as you remove it, it, it will close. And there's other things that have to be powered as well later on, you'll see. And so the puzzles really are about moving around the energy, uh, either in block form or in orb form, and getting them in the right order to where they need to be. Uh, do you know the ground team's location? The crew are deeper inside the base, it seems. <sighs> they must be trying to survive. Can you find their precise location? I'm afraid not. I am working to regain control. Though I once had complete control of this base, a lot has changed in the past 500 hours. So every time I come through one of these corridors that starts the next puzzle, they will talk for a moment or two, um, and then I'll be able to start talking about these puzzles. So, so the first few ones I'll, I'll go through pretty quickly because they're so easy. Um, this one, is really the first major puzzle. Everything else has been just teaching you the basic mechanics. So here we have, uh, we power this door, right? It opens. We get over here, this one's closed. If we grab the energy orb from it, it'll close. If we leave it in there, it's open. But when we come up here, the issue is, now we have to power this door, right? So looking down, by the way, there's, that's a camera Tom is always tracking you um, as you move around the room. Well, it, anyway, back to the puzzle. If we had the orb in this red receiver, then we'd be able to grab it with our gun. So what we have to do is swap these out. So, like I said, this first puzzle is... The first few puzzles are pretty basic, just to get you acquainted with the game mechanics. So from up here, we can grab it, put it in the upstairs receiver, door opens, and we move through. And we'll start talking. So if this base is managed by you, why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. So before we move on to the next puzzle, there's this restricted area with a little force field here. And I haven't done this puzzle yet. I think this is a puzzle. I think these are optional puzzles. Um, Perhaps we can't solve this yet. Perhaps we can't solve this yet. Okay. That makes me think that we can't solve this yet. But uh, I don't know. I guess I can try it for a moment and if, it, if I can't figure it out, I'll move on. My guess is that there are a couple of these that the orbs have to be in, right? But that information seems like it, it had to be in the game. I don't think I can just sit here and guess. There's, there's too many possibilities. Um, so instead of doing that, I'm going to move on <laughs> and hope that I can come back at some point. 
I feel like you can't really go back in this game, so maybe the solution is in this room. Otherwise, I think I might have to like reload uh, this level at some point to solve it. If there's like a later level that, that tells you the combination. All right, so in this room, we have this magnet that we can move side to side using this uh, switch or lever here. So you move side to side and it will pick up anything metal like the energy boxes. And the other thing is if you look up here at the magnet, you'll see it has a, a round red receiver. And in it is a green energy orb. And the green ones, they blink on and off. If they're blue, they're steady state. If they're green, uh, they switch on and off at a regular interval. So that'll power this one, but we need a second one. So we plug in this box, and there we go. This should open and close. Ooh. And through. This doesn't add up. What does not add up? If there was an accident, Surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflicts. I expect they have their reasons. Okay, so... Ultimately we have to... To get out of this puzzle, we have to power this receiver, right? Um with it looks like either a box or probably more likely a orb okay for this door it looks like it has to be powered by both uh lines leading into it in order to stay open not just one so like this would be an and gate here we have a box that we can carry around um, but it's been powering the bottom one, so we're not able to get through. However, if we pull this orb out and put it here, which is the only one that we have access to from the other side of this window, if we wanted to pull it, um, then we can take this box out and put it in the top receiver here, and then come over here and flip this switch, and now this receiver is powering the bottom one and the box is powering the top one. We get through the room, pull the orb, and now we're through the puzzle. 